Hello everybody, uh, the Raw Food Group here in Lansing, uh, I think you guys are down there in Miller Road, and uh, I'm, I'm always ecstatic to hear it's still going on, and uh, you know that was started by Hiawatha and Cricket, and uh, there was another woman, I can't remember her name at the time, um, but at any rate, uh, they started that you know, well over 20, 30 years ago. I think Cricket had it going for 18 years, so that's amazing. We had one of the best groups in La of anywhere in the country right here in Lansing, Michigan. My name is Dr. Bob McCauley. I own the Watershed Wellness Center in Lansing. Um, I'm out by the airport, and um, I've been in business about 30 years now, the 30 years this year. I started out in my basement. I started out in the bottled water business originally, and uh, I just kept going from there. So, um, you know, I shifted over into alkaline ionized water. And then I found out about spirulina and chlorella, raw foods and vegetables, who kind of really Hiawatha Cromer. She's the one who introduced me to sprouts. And then from sprouts, I figured, wow, I, I want to have raw foods into my body. And that's how that happened. But uh, anyway, I am the author of a whole bunch of different books. And um, some are available. If you look down in the description below, you'll see all my audible books in there. Um, this is my latest book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. So it's my cancer protocol. It tells you exactly what you want to do if you want to cure your body of any disease in the world, including the worst disease of all, which is cancer. So cancer is really you create this toxicity within the body. And um, it's the same is true with any really uh, any disease whatsoever and uh, you create this environment within that leads to all disease. So the idea that we inherit diseases is just ridiculous. We don't inherit disease. We, we, we get diseases all from, all disease comes from our diet. And we all live on the wrong diet, wrong diet, and that's why we all get sick. So the idea, everybody gets old and they get sick and they die, this is completely wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to die of a disease. You probably never hear anybody in your life say that, but I know what, the, what you can do and how you can cure the body of any disease. So I'm not going to die of a disease. I know I'm going to die, and I'm not looking to live forever. And God's going to take me when he wants, but, you know, I, I'm not going to die of a disease. So um, just to introduce a couple of my books, um, and they're all in the description below in this video. But uh, my best-selling book, this is my third edition, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. Those are available in the book form. You can come out and pick them up. You can order, order them um, on Amazon, and, uh, or you can, uh, you can get those. Uh, um, you know, a, a bunch of different bookstores around, but mainly Amazon or where I am. By the way, I'm at 16280 National Parkway, so about two miles west of Lansing, um, the Lansing Airport, and um, it's a really a great place to do business. It's not the best retail location, but you can come out here and fill up your bottles by the gallon. Uh, I have a retail location. Um, and I'm kind of not too far from MPC Cashway Lumber. I'm, I'm on the north side of the road. So um, anyway, come out and see us. We can, we, uh, I do consultations if you really want to talk to me. But everything I do is really on these videos um, on YouTube. I give them all. You can watch them on YouTube all day long. Uh, my books, you know, if you read my books, I mean, they're really in-depth. They really tell you exactly how you can be incredibly healthy. I'm 65 years old. Uh, I work out every day. I still run a six-minute mile. Not bad. And um, I'm not bragging. I can just do it. You know, this is what I do. I like to run. So this is how I do things. And I want to tell you what I do to give myself that kind of level of health at my age. And as I said, I'm not going to die of a disease. I know that for sure. I'm going to die and God will take me what he wants, but disease is not on the list, and I would never commit suicide. That's a big mistake, let me tell you. So, uh, Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Cure in the Mirror. Uh, I've got um, another book here. Uh, this one's translated, of course, into Spanish, but um, well, I've got my book on infectious disease. Boy, this came in handy a couple of years, in the last few years with what went around and uh, all the uh, virus that was in everything. Uh, I don't recommend you get the vax, uh, the jab, I mean, but the um, you know, choice is yours. But the silver, I, got, I had meningitis, and I was really sick, and, uh, and so I talk about how I, how I survived that and what I got. The meningitis is a 21% mortality rate, so it's a very serious disease. So I tell you how I avoided that, um, what, what happened and how I cured, cured, allowed my body to cure itself, really, uh, through using silver. 
Um, and here's another one of my books, Achieving Great Health, The Seven Components of Great Health. I do have a seven component health protocol. And here's the seven secrets of natural health. Um, it's kind of a really short guide, 50 pages. Just shows you my overall health protocol. And uh, it's going to have a different color cover uh, than this one. Much, much cooler cover. Much better. Much better. That's kind of just a prototype, but I got a better one. Seven Secrets of Health, uh, Great Health. Um, and that's the one that's my latest book. It's not on Audible yet, but I'm going to read that one. But I have five books that are on Audible, and uh, including The Cure in the Mirror. So if you want something comprehensive, that's the one. So my health protocol begins with alkaline ionized water. If you're not drinking alkaline water, I would highly suggest you do. It is identical to raw fruits and vegetables. I'm going to focus the talk today on raw fruits and vegetables because you guys are at the raw food um, you know, banquet, I call it. They call it a potluck. Okay, it's really a banquet because if you really make these raw foods the right way, we, we used to have them when I went out and did my talks and everything. I'd have some of that raw food. Wow, it's amazing what people can really make. Um, you know, Cricket was really good at it. Miko was really good at it. Hiawatha was really good at it. Um, and uh, Moselle, she's down in Detroit now. She's really good at it. So, um, you know, I usually just eat fruit in the daytime, and then I have a salad at night. But I don't eat cooked foods. And I'm going to tell you exactly why you want to do that. But ionized water, alkaline ionized water, has all the exact same properties as raw fruits and vegetables. So alkaline ionized water is a very powerful antioxidant. It's got three antioxidant qualities. It has a negative ORP, oxidation reduction potential. It has abundance of hydrogen, active hydrogen what we need. And it's got a uh, huge amount of electrons in the water, so it's a free radical scavenger. It's the single most healthiest thing you can do for your health is get alkaline ionized water. And I sell it by the gallon here, so come on in and, and grab a bottle or grab um, get some bottles or get some... Uh, <coughs> Uh, bring in your own bottles and fill those up. You can do five gallon bottles, three gallon, one gallon. Uh, we do sell the bottles here, but you can bring in your own. That save yourself some money and some time. Um, but uh, at any rate, uh, that's the main thing I do. Uh, ionized water is also very alkaline, and it is very, very. It's got very small water molecule clusters, so it's extremely detoxifying. It hydrates your body uh, very, very well the cells and the tissue and then it pushes out all the things that don't belong there which we refer to as toxins so something that doesn't belong in the body is a toxin and they're very mild toxins um, and they're very serious toxins such as heavy metals herbicides pesticides all this kind of stuff so it's very dangerous you go fill up your car with gasoline uh, you're breathing in benzene trihalomethane um, huge amounts of hydrocarbons uh, these are all really poisonous, and it's going right into your lungs. And you, you ride behind a truck, and it's blowing out all the fumes, and it's a diesel, and it's just terrible. School bus, they're ter notorious, those school buses. I don't know why, but they are. They're just notor and you're breathing at it right in. It's going right into your bloodstream. So you need to avoid those things at, uh, at all costs. Um, and um, But how do you get toxins out of your body? That's everything I do, because that's what disease lives on. It lives on your toxins. It lives on the toxins within your body. And uh, like cancer is a perfect example, example of that. You know, your body, the idea that, you know, cancer metastasizes. You know, it's here, they found it in your liver, and then it, it, it metastasized, meaning it moved up to the brain. Well, there's no evidence of that. The, you cannot ever, they've never seen cancer metastasize. What's happened is you've become so toxic that it is appearing all over your body. It's appearing in your bones, it's appearing in your blood, it's appearing in your, uh, in your brain. And the brain is like, of fat, so it just grabs onto everything, and you get you know you get toxins up there. This is where you, this is what leads to Alzheimer's um, and uh, dementia issues, and not th thinking clearly. You know all your uh, you know these depression, you know clinical depression. Not somebody died and I'm depressed. You know clinical depression. We always depress anxiety. These are all you know these are gut issues. You you really got to take care of your gut. And your your microbiome, as they say, or your you know intestinal flora. We have all sorts of different names for it these days, um, but um, because there's a big connection, your gut is your second brain. So you got to take care of that, and you got to cleanse it. You also got to feed it with magnesium, and you do that with mag team, mag, magnesium malthrene. And these are all the sorts of things that we sell here at the watershed. So I encourage you to come by and see us sometime if you can, and um, and uh, you know we'll we'll sh show you what we have and. It gets you on the path to health. Um, you know, I feel I'm energetic. I'm always clear-minded. I feel great every day. I don't like while well, I'm falling apart here at my age. I feel fantastic. So, um, 
you know, and I'm Okay, not. let's just briefly go over my seven component health protocol, which this is kind of a shortened version of it right here. I got a much cooler cover for that coming up, as I said, but uh, okay, so first of all is water. Alkaline ionized water is the best water um, you can possibly put into your body. Uh, you could come out here to the health, uh, to the watershed, pick it up by the gallon. I do have a retail location, 16280 National Parkway. Uh, like I said, on the north side of the row, a couple couple miles w uh, west of the airport. And you can come out and see all our products and what we do here and get bottles of water. You can bring in your own bo water uh, bottles and bring it. But the, the water is the cornerstone of health. It's the most healthiest thing you can do. And alkaline ionized water is just like I, uh, raw fruits and vegetables, only it doesn't have any nu nutrients in it. So ionized, ionized water, no nutrients, identical to raw fruits and vegetables, full of nutrients. So and that's what we need the most of. I mean, water is the cornerstone of health. So ionized water is a very strong antioxidant. It's very alkaline. Uh, it's uh, it got three antioxidant qualities to it. Same as raw fruits and vegetables. It has a negative charge, an abundance of electrons, active hydrogen. Um, it's very alkalizing for the body, very, very detoxifying because it's got very small water molecule clusters, so it gets in and it... It hydrates the body extremely well and pushes out all the things that don't belong in the body, uh, which are toxins. So toxicity is the is really the reason we get um, we get sick. That's what happens. We put we put all this garbage into the body. We never get it out of there, and this leads to <clears throat> excuse me all disease, all disease of any kind. And then infectious disease. Yeah, you get a weak immune system, like we had a couple of years ago uh, with this you know pandemic going around. And, um, you know, if you have a weak immune system, you're going to get sick. Well, most old people, elderly, they like my age, I'm 65, I, um, you know, they, they always get sick. They get sick because they have a weak immune system. They have a weak immune system because they spent their entire life living on cooked foods, like everybody does. And this is the hardest thing for you to do is change your diet if you want to be healthy. And that's why these kind of groups are just so important because it shows you how great raw fruits and vegetables can be. Um, as I said, you know, earlier, we... You know, we don't eat Chinese food, real Chinese food from China. We don't eat Russian food. We don't eat African food because we're not from those places. We have dietary a habits. Uh, we don't eat Indian food um, from India. Now, most this largest amount of people in the world are, are vegetarians in India. I don't. Uh, I haven't eaten meat in, um, in 42 years, and I've been a vegan, no meat, fish, eggs, or dairy for about 20 years. You know, maybe even longer. So uh, it's just you know really. Uh, is a very much an inferior food, and uh, that's why I use number one. It, number component number one is ionized water, the most important thing you can put into your body. Second is spirulina and chlorella, two types of algae, the strongest, most nutritionally dense foods in the world, and uh, they have the broadest array of nutrients of any food. You take a small handful of either spirulina and or chlorella, and that's all the protein you'll need for that meal. And then if you want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, strictly for the taste. So. That's kind of, uh, that's number two. Uh, number three is raw fruits and vegetables. That's why that number three is changing a diet is a thing that everybody stumbles on. They get very mad at me, uh, you know, I think because people are just so programmed when I tell them that meat is not healthy. And it's in particular cooked animal protein, which who doesn't cook their animal protein? Meat, fish, eggs, dairy, you know, it's always cooked. And uh, they just don't want to hear that. And they get very upset about it. And, uh, and so they you see these medical doctors uh, I did a bit. You can look at all my videos on here. Uh, Saladino, I think, was the guy's name. Saladino, that's it. And uh, he's a medical doctor, and he's telling you meat is the healthiest food. And at, what does he eat for his diet? He eats meat. And what else does he eat? Nothing. Meat. And there's another guy out there, uh, another medical doctor. I uh, can't think of uh, what's the guy's name. I'll think of it. And he just only eats beef. He only eats meat. That's it. There's nothing else on this guy's in this guy's diet. And this is all you need to do to be healthy. Well, you're going to go into you know kind of ketosis when you eat meat, meat, meat all the time. And that some people call that the keto diet. That's actually a very high fat diet. We used to have the Atkins diet back in the day. That was a very high protein diet. Well, rem you remove carbohydrates from your diet, and you're going to lose a lot of weight. That's not healthy, but you're going to lose a lot of weight. You're going to con con they call it the keto diet because you're creating ketosis in the body, and this is, you, but you need to avoid that. So, um, yeah, it's not healthy. Okay, you can create these ketone bodies in in your body, in within your body, and it's ketones, and this is not good for you. This is starvation mode. So you're, you've thrown your body into starvation mode, and um, it's not a healthy thing. So, 
Um, so number three is raw food diet. Number four is probiotics and prebiotics. That's the friendly bacteria and fermented foods. You can ferment foods with water and salt. You can ferment any food you want. It takes about two to three days and you just get the most healthiest foods you can ever imagine. And uh, again, you just put them clean, you know, clean them really well. Put in, um, put them in a nice bowl of some size. This is like kimchi or sauerkraut. You put them in there and then you, um, you add uh, water and then salt and that's it. A lot of people think vinegar is, um, or it's a fermented food. It, it's, you preserve foods with, with um, vinegar, but it is not a fermented food, so there's a big difference. So at any rate, um, you know, you've got, uh, um, that's number four, is the probiotics, the friendly bacteria. You've got to have that. As I said, that there's this huge connection between the gut and the, uh, the brain. So this is, people get all these depression, anxiety, all these, you know, psychological conditions. This is because they're, they're they've on a junk, always on a junk food diet, these people. And they say, oh, my diet's pretty good. You start asking people uh, that have a good diet, and you're going to find out they don't have a very good diet at all. Um, you know, how often you go to McDonald's? Oh, we might go once a week, once a week. I mean, I haven't been there to a McDonald's in I don't know, 45, 50 years. I used to go in high school. I went in college a little bit, and then I became a vegetarian and never went back. Um, you know, any kind of fast food, any kind of processed food, any kind of fried food. Fried food is poison. And, and it tastes great. Frying foods makes them taste so fantastic. This is really, really poison. It doesn't belong in the body. And you always have to en uh, honor the temple that God gave you. That's your body. And one of my books is called, um, it's in its third edition, uh, but it's called the, the Temple He Was Referring To Was His Body. And that's about those are the, the words of our Lord Jesus. And, you know, and he's referring to the body. Well, he's saying, I'll tear this down, this temple, and, re you know, rebuild it in three days. Well, um, you know, he's telling you this is your this is your temple, your body's your temple. And I wrote a book on that too. And you can go to if you go to Audible and look up Bob McCauley, ND, naturopathic doctor, ND. You'll see all my books there, all my audio audio books are there, all my uh, uh, physical books. If you want to get them on Amazon, you can come into the store and buy those as well. So um, they're all there, and I've got all that information there. So I've got one sort of a Christian book on honoring the temple that God gave you. So number five is going to be minerals. Now I, I sell these liquid angstrom minerals. This happens to be iodine. Uh, probably this magnesium is the most important mineral for the body, but magnesium is number two because that feeds the thyroid. And um, so that's uh, very, very important uh, for the body. Okay. And then, um, so I have a whole, full, you know, I have like a full spectrum minerals, but you got to stay minerals. Min minerals are the keys that start the engine of our health. So um, you've got to stay mineralized. I mean, that's the number one thing. People get heart attacks all the time because they just don't have magnesium. So I recommend you keep a bottle of magnesium. Uh, this is not magnesium, but a bottle like that, or even a small one. I sell these little tiny things, two ounces. Keep that around so somebody's not feeling good with chest pains or something, have them start taking some magnesium. Um, that's your apartment mineral. And it's also great for the brain. I sell magnesium l You look at people with dementia, they have no magnesium in their brain. Magnesium is such an incredibly important mineral. And you see a lot of it being sold today and a lot of it being promoted. And I love that. I love, you know, um, I love to see these things getting promoted. So people, you know, like magnesium, there's all sorts of different types of magnesium, by the way. Um, and I like make magnesium l the best that's, uh, because the threonate, you have to have something that's going to get it into the body and get it assimilated. Some certain types of magnesium, they, you get almost 1% out of the magnesium that's just passing through you. So it's not that it's bad for you or anything, you're just not absorbing it. And people will say, you know, you are what you eat. Well, that's not true. You're not, you are not what you eat. You, you are what you can assimilate. So if you can't, if you have your digestive tract, especially your lower GI, is full of junk. And it's not clean. Um, you're not going to absorb anything. Those little microvilli, they got to take in the nutrients. So if those is co those are coated over with sludge, you know the, the things that you've eaten, McDonald's, fast foods, you know, fried foods, processed foods. I, mean, I haven't eaten anything out of a box or a jar or a can. It's been 40 years, maybe longer. I mean, I just don't touch that kind of stuff. I don't ever buy that. You know, I might go out and get organic mustard because I want to make my dressing or something okay there's something like that but a box or any of these i don't trust anything you see out there anymore as far as what's in it and the stuff that they're putting into our foods now i mean this is an issue that just came up literally in the last few years 
you don't want to trust anything out there what they're putting into into your food so i don't buy anything out of a box and if you do you will read that label very very carefully and make sure you can identify every one of those ingredients in there and if you see anything like genetically engineered foods which they're putting on a lot of labels all your snack foods out there all the common stuff common stuff that people have in their houses and the football games and all that this you don't know what's in that stuff i mean that stuff is just mass-produced garbage all the breakfast cereals the stuff they put bht in there this is like this is a uh, you know an industrial cleaner and they put that into the food to preserve it so don't buy that stuff i mean if you want to be healthy raw fruits and vegetables know the source of your food know where it came from um and so uh, minerals is the next one then vigorous daily exercise i work out every single day i run a six minute mile as i said um and uh, I really work out intensely for 25 to 30 minutes every day. I do a lot of heavy lift, lifting. I do cardio. I never miss my cardio. Every day, 20 minutes. Uh, I've gone my, on my elliptical. Um, I have gone four miles in, uh, in 20 minutes. So that's five, uh, four five-minute miles back to back, okay, five-minute miles on my elliptical. So I've got a professional elliptical at home. And it's the kind of stuff you see in gyms and that stuff. So this is meant to go and go and go and go. A uh, buddy of mine got me, showed me the w one to buy, and, and I got that thing, and uh, it's fantastic. So I work on it every single day, usually five, six days a week, at the, you know, maybe take a day off here and there, but for the most part, I work out every single day. I'm always very active, and uh, it's very important. So daily vigorous exercise, you got to do that one. And then number seven, stay positive, positive mental attitude. If everything you do is over here and you don't stay positive, you are not going to, uh, you know, you're not going to be successful. You got to stay positive. You got to have it up here. So um, now let's get into the row. So that's my seven component health protocol. Again, this book of this tell it to you. If you just want to come by and get this or get this online, I haven't. It's not on Audible yet, and I don't have an audio book, but I'm working on that one. So that just shows you my seven component health protocol. Why you want to do these things. Um, and again, everything I do is about something called detoxification. It's getting the things out of your body that don't belong there. And you know, the FDA hates that word. And if you use the word detoxification on any of your products, they're going to come after you and make you stop, and they write you these warning letters. And um, it's not a warning. The warning is we're going to put you out of business if you don't do exactly what we say. That's the truth. That's the truth of it. I know the FDA very well. I didn't stay in business 30 years by not understanding what the FDA wants from you. So um, that's my health protocol, but let's talk about raw fruits and vegetables and why they're, you know, you can't, people go to the vegan diet, well, it's a cooked food vegan diet, it's not a raw food vegan diet, and, um, you know, so, you know, what, what, uh, you know, why is that so important that you do, you go to a vegan diet and get away from animal protein? Well, you know, I would tell something to any people who are meat eaters and everybody who's a, you know, likes to eat meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. So what I say is uh, we have something in common, you and me. I'm a vegan, and all the animals that you eat are vegans because every animal we eat, they're all vegans. They're all vegetarians, they're vegans. So you look at the beef, you look at pork, uh, you look at, uh, you look at uh, fish, you look at uh, chickens, they're vegans. Everything's a vegan. So you're just eating all this, this vegan-grown food. And you eat the food, like you say, B12. You get B12, vitamin B12, from cobalt and... Um, and from bacteria. So you take your probiotic, you take a little co cobalt with it. I've got some right here. I take it all the time. I take it every day. And that makes my B12. My B12 is, last time I had blood work was about a year ago. I'd like to do this blood work because then I can see where I am. And it's always perfect. It's just perfect every time. I've never been on a medication in my entire life, ever. And I can't imagine ever going on one. They don't lead to health. They, you know, you look at these cancer specialists. They're experts in a disease. They're disease experts. That's all they are. They're experts in cancer. They don't know anything about health. And you look at these medical guys uh, like Gundry. He's out there. Um, and some of these other ones, there's a bunch. There's Some of them are vegans. But you look at Gundry. Uh, I just use him because he's so, fa so famous. Where, where did he learn all this stuff about health? You listen, listen to his commercials. He's selling all these health products, like my, my products, okay? And he, he talks about all these healthy things you can do. Where do you learn that? In medical school? He's just a guy with a lab coat. And he's a doctor. So he's got this patina of authority. They, they don't teach anything about health in medical school. They teach medicine. They do medical stuff. Me, me, the medical uh, you know, uh, people, they're good in emergency service, service, uh, situations. You get in an accident, you cut your foot, 
you know, you're out on the highway, you get in a terrible accident, something like that. Uh, maybe sports medicine, quote unquote, sports medicine, you know, where they got to help heal people. Physical therapy, I like that. But when it comes to disease, chronic disease or infectious disease, they're worthless. They don't know anything. They really don't know what they're doing. We wouldn't have had all these problems the last few years if they had listened to me and they would have just started taking silver, liquid angstrom silver. Again, I wrote that whole book about that. I mean, I was on my deathbed with this meningitis. Go look it up. 21% mortality rate. 21%. So, I mean, they, they had encephalitis in the mosquitoes. I got that from the mosquitoes. They had encephalitis from the mosquitoes uh, just a uh, year before last. They're, we were the number one hot spot in the world. You didn't hear a word about it from anybody in the government. Now, we don't want to talk about that. And people, a lot of people die here in Michigan from encephalitis. It comes to the mosquitoes because they have no immune system to begin with. I had an immune system, so I was able to get this, get through this. But that's what you got to do. You got to build that immune system, and that is so critical to your health. So... Um, and this is how you do it. And it's really hard to build your immune system, especially if you've been knocking it down. There was a guy that came in here, and he had the, the thing, the, co the COVID, and he had this, um, he had, he had this problem. And he was, he's a huge guy. He was, in the, he was in the Army for 20 years, and he says, I, you know, and he got really, really sick. Well, he had no immune system because he told me, he says, when I was in the Army, I ate garbage. I lived on the worst garbage you ever heard in your life. And, um, and so he just, uh, you know, uh, destroyed his immune system. And then when something like that came along, he was wide open. He was a guy 75 years old, um, but it, it just shows you. I mean, big, huge, gigantic guy, you know, and, you know, but it doesn't matter. If your immune system's weak, you are, you know, uh, you know, you're in trouble. And those things that they kept taking you, put over your mouth and all that, those are worthless. And when I said that, um, on, on a particular channel that maybe we're on right now. They, they immediately took it down and I got a warning letter from the uh, FDA and uh, they closed my credit card account, qu credit card processing account, not my credit cards, my credit card process. I couldn't process orders here for like a month. That was right before Christmas because you dare not speak out of turn and you dare not say something that's healthy, okay, about health, then you, you're going to be in trouble. So. I've uh, got a few minutes left here. I know I'm covering a lot of subjects, but that's what I do. I'm trying to tell you kind of overall picture. But let's delve a little bit deeper into the raw fruits and vegetables. Why are you eating this stuff? Well, because it's full of enzymes and because it has not been destroyed by heat. Heat is a chemical reagent. Heat is the, really the great destroyer of our health because we all cook our foods. I mean, I grew up, I'm, I'm like an incredible chef. I, I was standing on a chair cooking at four and a half years old. I was, doing, I was out cooking my mother by the time I was six, seven years old literally and I was making turkey dinner like you know by the time I was 10 I knew the whole thing I was born to cook ironically I never cook my food so I still know how to make tasty things but I just don't cook anything so you're destroying all the enzymes that's the life of the food if you look at a Carilion photography of uh, cooked food which is just gonna be nothing it's gonna look black and then you see a raw food you'll see all this color in it there's all this this aura of color and vibrancy um, and health, you know, it's really is health is what you're looking at, Look, energy. Everything is about vibration. What do you put into your body and the vibration of what that is is going to make all the difference. Well, raw fruits and vegetables vibrate way up here. I got iodine right here. Somewhere's my iodine. Iodine, that's the highest frequency of any mineral we put into our body, okay? And uh, again, the thyroid, you got to feed that thyroid. is so important. They, doctors, they have a problem with it. They just take it out. They radiate it right out of, the, out of, out of existence. Big mistake. This is the most important thing. This, this is what, it's not the pituitary, the master gland. It is the one that gives you the metabolism, gives you life. And you got to activate it with iodine. And fluoride interferes with it. So they put that into our water. Why? <laughs> you got me. But um, I, I, I'm on a well. I'm blessed to have a well at home. So um, at any rate, you know, avoid fluoride. It's in, it's in the water. Don't, don't brush your teeth with fluoridated water. I mean, toothpaste. It says it right on the lip. Keep out of the reach of children. Oh, that's on your toothpaste? Don't, do not swallow this. What, that's on your toothpaste? Why don't you want, you're putting it in your mouth. I mean, you know, what I brush my teeth with is alkaline ionized water. And by the way, if you want, really want nice white teeth, I sell something called my tooth whitener. It's really complicated, um, uh, you know, formula. It's calcium 
and baking soda. <laughs> That's it. And you can just go get, I sell calcium here for your bones, calcium l magnesium l for the brain. The l makes it go into the body, into the brain, into the, into, the, into the bones. It really helps carry it into, you need something to help assimilate these minerals. You can't just take calcium by itself. Your body's probably not going to absorb too much of that. But going back to the raw foods, again, it's the cooking. You've changed it. You've taken, like, you, you know, I always say, God grew an apple, we, grew, we made a frying pan. You cannot improve on God's, uh, you, know, in, you know, what his creation. You, if you, you can make it taste better with an apple pie, but you didn't improve it, okay? I'm sitting behind a beautiful wood desk, but, um, you know, you had to cut a tree down to make this desk. Now, it's a beautiful desk, but I didn't improve the tree, okay? You can say, well, that's the one that's beautiful. Well, that's what it's, it is beautiful, but you didn't improve the tree. The tree had to die so you could make this, or maybe you cut off one of the limbs or something. But the whole point is, is that you, you know you can't improve on God's creation. Well, you can't improve. You cannot improve on what God made. So this raw apple and the apple pie that you made over here, or whatever you did, you cooked it. These are to two totally different chemical substances. They don't. This is what is the raw food, the apple. That's what is, and this is what was. This is what. You know, you've changed completely. This is not, you've got the remnants. You've got some nutrients in there, but they're not going to be carried into the body effectively at all. I can guarantee you that. So, again, you're just, you're acidifying the body when you eat cooked foods. All their uh, toxins are displacing from into the into your body. Um, and we eat cooked foods because we, we like the taste of them, of course. And, um, and we are under the mistaken impression that they're good for us. They're not good for us. I mean, I hate to tell you. And you say, are you telling me my healthy cooking from my garden is not good? Well, it's your healthy cooking, the cooking part. I don't know about your garden. That's where you should be getting your food is from your garden. And uh, during, you know, during the winter, I do a lot of sprouting. Okay, that's something Hiawatha taught me right in the beginning. That's how I learned about raw foods. You got the enzyme, the life, it's there. And you're going to feel good. You know, you go to one of these banquets. I don't know how it is anymore. I used to go to those things. I would be so full. But I did, wasn't stuffed. I was so satisfied with this raw foods, but I wasn't like, oh, you know, uh, like turkey dinner. Like, you know, you go on Thanksgiving and you just stuff because you've just eaten all this huge amount of food. And it's going to take you forever to digest that food, a huge amount of labor. So, you know, I do a lot of fasting where I stop eating at all and I just drink water. Today, I haven't eaten. It's, um, you know, it's a little afternoon or something. I haven't eaten for, um, you know, since last night. So I get a 12 to 15, maybe 16, 17 hour fast every single day. It's one of the reasons I'm so healthy. So there's a lot of key nutrients that I have, but water is the number one, and then I stay on a raw food diet. And again, that energy, that life, that vibration is so high in a raw food. And especially if it's an organic raw, you know, food up, you know, what's up there, it's been, or something that's, you know, you went out and forage for it. Fantastic stuff. You go out and you get that right from nature and you eat it and these are high energy foods these are really high energy foods they feel fantastic make you feel good whereas if you go to mcdonald's or you go to you know any of these junk joints i call them fast food places i mean and they're lined up out the doors i mean look at the drive through um on these places i mean it's just unbelievable um that people still do this in such great i mean great huge amounts of people are sitting in the fast food places and uh you know i mean i just love the taste of it yeah that's what it's all about you like the taste of it and there's nothing else to be said you like the taste it's killing you it's destroying your health and i'll just i'm gonna wrap it up here in a couple minutes but i'll just tell you that let me tell you that that the most important thing in your life is have a relationship with god that's what i believe okay i'm catholic and i take it very very seriously and um, and uh, um, that's the most important thing. Number two is your health. People say, what about your family? Your family. Who cares about your family? I mean, you, how can you take care of your family if you're sick? So your family's number three. You've got to take care of yourself. It's like when the plane's going down, they say, put the mask on first and start breathing the air, you know, the oxygen, so you can help other people. Put that oxygen mask on so you can help others. Put that... Make yourself healthy so you can help your family, so you don't become a liability, a detriment. Somebody's got to spend all their money to take you around to the doctors and all this, and it's just, it's just a big shuffle at that point. Once, once the, gun, the doctors have you when you're older, they got you, and you're never going to get out of it because, uh, you know, they'll take, take this pill, take this, do that. They, they don't know anything about health, and they'll say, don't worry, what your diet, you know what's important, your diet exercise. What diet? 
a diet of what McDonald's uh, a diet you know don't eat too much red meat red meat white meat Are you really telling me there's a difference there there isn't it's ridiculous the idea that chicken is a lot healthier than red meat they're, they're just chicken has huge amounts of methionine the amino acid that's why um, that's sulfur you know, that's why you eat too many eggs you start smelling like sulfur after a while you know just really not doesn't smell good because all that's coming out of you and um, it's just an unbalanced uh, complement of amino acids in animal protein again they're middlemen animal protein meat fish eggs and dairy they're eating the ant they're eating the plants they're eating the algae themselves these fish as an example and then they're accumulating all these nutrients okay and then you're eating them you know like fat fat we cannot produce fat okay we can't we can accumulate fat we can take in fat from plants and then we can make other fatty acids and build on them but we cannot produce fat um, and we cannot produce minerals um, that's why you got to mineralize so you got to stay mineralized with these liquid angstrom minerals you can't produce a mineral and yet they're so critical to every part of our health every human physiological process depends on a mineral for it to operate pro pro properly your heart that's magnesium iodine that's your thyroid I could go on gold if you want to sleep really good at night and feed the brain platinum is really good for the brain indium for your pineal gland okay take it every day I don't miss these things because health is not an is, is health is a habit it's not an event it doesn't happen once it's a habit and you got to get into these habits you got to change your habits you got to start eating raw food so what you do is really hard to change your diet what you do is you eat you don't eat a salad you eat a salad and then you have a low cooked food meal okay and that'll shrink down and eat slowly so you fill up and um, things like avocado maybe a little avo or olive oil that help fill you up if you're gonna eat any kind of grain I recommend quinoa for sure okay let me wrap it up there you're if you're at the raw food banquet at least you're health conscious you're health minded and you want to do something to really help yourself and um, and stay around longer and be healthy it's about quality of health it's not about longevity I, I said I'm, you know I'm not looking to live forever uh, believe me I don't th think this is the greatest place that we could be um, meaning the, the earth uh, and um, but I, I'm not looking but I just want to I want to be healthy while I'm here I don't want to wake up and go oh, I'm dragging and I can't you know I have no energy all day and I can't think and I mean all my friends are getting older and I'm, we're all in our 60s now they can't do anything anymore they're all on medications or they can't do their carpentry they all got ar arthritis it's sad for me I can't I, I don't have a construction crew anymore they used to do all my building for me and I lost these guys because they're on the wrong diet and um, and it just makes me sad that you know they're not going to be around as long as I am I mean I could be taken out tomorrow by a bus or an accident or something you know anything can happen and uh, but that's not my point my point is while I'm here it's quality of health and that's what this is all about that's what my health protocol is all about come and see us sometime soon at the watershed wellness center 16280 national parkway our my wa my website's watershed.net net um, and there's another one called dr. Bob McCauley it's a lot of my products are on there but if you want to see who I am uh, my YouTube channel is this one here uh, watershed 11 or dr. Bob McCauley um, and um, I will hope I can do another talk for you sometime soon I'd be more than happy my the focus of my life mission of my life is to pass along the great great news and the great message of health true health perfect health the kind of health most people just dream about dr. Bob you enjoy your meal and I'll see you sometime soon